<laughs> so yo welcome to another episode of with enough prep time i'm your host the nerd man and today we're going to be talking about zach slider super trolling super trolling superman fans apparently in his justice league he wanted lois lane <clears throat> to bang bruce wayne basically he wanted he wanted basically batman to be having an affair with lois lane and be in love with lois lane and i'm just like dude i there's there's got to be some level of mad respect when someone trolls on this level and zack snyder's been trolling superman fans for a while he trolls the batman fans a bit like a little bit but he trolls the superman fans more like there's there's things that i was like watching batman v superman and i'm like is that a dig at superman fans is that like a fuck you like an alter like scenes that don't need to be there are there and you're just like it's kind of like just the biggest fuck you to me as a superman fan like this scene in uh, you know, I'm gonna just give you two examples, and then I'm gonna go on to the um, uh, onto the article. Like this scene where he kills the terrorist in the beginning of Batman v Superman. I've always wondered in my head, is Zack Snyder just fucking trolling me like big time? He knows I hate Superman killing, right? Like, is he just trolling the shit out of us? Like Zack Snyder is constantly trolling Superman fans. In his, in his movies. And then there's the bit in BVS where his mum goes, you don't owe this world anything. And you're just like, that's a troll, bro. That is blatantly, he knows that's going to get me, a, get an emotional rise. Because what is the one thing everyone talks about in fucking Man of Steel? Even Man of Steel fans hate this part. When um, Pa Kent basically says, yo, um, uh, you know, maybe you should have let the kids die. Every fucking fan of uh, of Superman hates that part. Most, even most Zack Snyder fans don't try and justify that part. But anyway, so I want to hear, and please, Zack Snyder fans, please, I'm begging you. If you watch this, please just, just tell me how you justify this. Because I want to know where you're going to do, what you're going to do to justify this. This is the best one so far. I, I, I've never, like, I mean, I've always thought, like, on the edge, Snyder's low-key a troll, like, low-key trolling us, but I've never had that, 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 that smoking gun, that smoking gun that, yeah, he fucking hates Superman and is a Batman fanboy, and that's why, like, dude, all right, let me just go into it. He's a, he's a Batman fanboy. He is a Batman fanboy like most of the people in, in DC, but like to this extent where you're even f like even fucking um, uh, the Dark Knight Returns uh, um, writer like um, gave more respect uh, to Superman as a character and the lore of Superman. Anyway, let's see. So Vanity Fair has pub published a fascinating piece looking at how Zack Snyder's Justice League came to be, revealing at least one major idea the director had before War Warner Brothers stepped in to stop it in its tracks. So Warner Brothers sensibly stopped this idea in its tracks, okay. So it's no secret that the negative response to Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice led to the studio taking a more hands-on approach with Justice League, demanding a two-hour runtime and an increase in humor and what some describe as a more comic accurate take on the characters, which is bullshit. Like, they're not like, how can you have it comic accurate and then say inject it with unnecessary humor that's not who the justice league are so that's that's warner brothers fault that's warner brothers bullshit one controversial idea warner brothers did not get on board with was ben affleck's bruce wayne finding romance with amy adams lois lane in the wake of superman's death jesus christ <laughs> oh you are you are 
are beautiful, Zack Snyder, man. Like, no, this is this is when you troll this hard, when you troll fans this hard, I actually have a little bit of respect for you. <laughs> this is a major troll. <laughs> After everything you've done to Superman, you're gonna let let Batman bang his girlfriend after he basically like beat the. Uh, anyway, all right. So the intention was that Bruce fell in love with Lois. This is Zack Snyder. So I'm gonna do a Zack Snyder voice. The intention was that you know. What would be cool is if Bruce fell in love with Lois and then, you know, they realized, dude, that only way to save the world was bring Superman back to life, dude. You know, and that would be cool. And you know what? I That would be so cool, you know, because so he had this insane conflict. Right. And that will get to the why, the why of the relationship between Superman and Batman. And that's what I'm always looking for in these superhero movies. I'm searching for the why, dude, the why of it. Because, you know, in mythological storytelling, there's always these massive affairs, you know, think about, think about Oedipus. He fucked his mother, right? And that's why I saw this insane conflict, dude, because Lois, of course, you know, is cool, right? Of course, Lois is cool, yeah? and 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 she was still in love with Superman, right? So I had this beautiful speech in mind where Bruce was like saying to Alfred, and you know Alfred's cool, right? You know how cool Alfred is? So I had this cool idea, right? And what it was going to be is I was going to say, I never had a lot, he, like Bruce was going to say to Alfred, I never had a life outside the cave, man. I never imagined a world for me beyond this. But this woman makes me think that if I can get this group of gods together, then my job is done. I can quit. I can stop. And of course, that doesn't work out for him. Right? So you see what I mean? Because that's the why of Superman's relationship with Lois. But really, let's let's just... Rewind, and I don't know if Snyder's doing this on purpose or if he's just like a, 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 a subconscious troll. But let's get this right in mind: what he's actually like saying. Basically, this is what Zack Snyder's really saying. This is what Zack Snyder is truly saying in this. Right? Basically, you know. <laughs> <laughs> because basically this is the funniest shit ever. Like, really. He's such a Batman fanboy. And as I said, he's basically been trolling Superman fans ever since they rejected his whack take on Superman. Now, you know, I you may not believe me or you may believe me. I actually like Batman v Superman. I really do. I think there's some clever parts of it. But he couldn't help being malicious to Superman fans. There are parts of that movie that don't need to be there. Like, and I was like, that doesn't, it's nothing to do with the narrative. These aren't narrative decisions. Superman killing a black terrorist in the beginning of the movie has nothing to do like with, you know, or, or Jimmy Olsen dying, being killed, has nothing to do with the narrative. It didn't, it didn't improve it. It didn't do anything to it. You could have just had Superman save Jimmy Olsen and then the rest of the film could have gone out, gone on without Jimmy Olsen in it. It already established he was some CIA kid or whatever, and he wasn't really like the, the Jimmy Olsen we know. So there was no reason to kill him there. That was just blatantly, he was like, oh, you know, because I just didn't know what to do with Jimmy Olsen as a character, as an idea. It just, it's so, it's like, dude, don't do anything with him. If you don't know what to do with him, just have Superman save him and then fucking... Leave it like that. We've already established this world you've created is some kind of else world thing anyway, right? And then he he does things like I told you, like the thing with killing Martha. That that always that. Oh, sorry, the thing with Martha saying uh, I don't know your thing. That was always a troll to me. That was like oh. You didn't like my fucking maybe, Kapar Kent saying maybe he should let the kids die speech? All right, fuck you, Superman fans. And this is what I think he thinks. And this this idea 
that Batman would screw Lois. That's exactly, he's, I could see him at night going, I'm in control, I'm God. Lex ain't got nothing on me. Screw Superman and these little bitch fans. You know what? You know what? I made him emo. I made him kill. Then I got Batman to kick his bitch ass. Now I'm gonna stick it to him literally. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get Batman to dick his bitch. Take that, Christopher Reeves fans. Take that. You want Chris Reeves? Well, I'm gonna give it to <laughs> Sorry, I, I got possessed right then. But I like honestly, I do believe Zack Snyder does try and troll his troll the fucking um, Superman fans. Like I, I really do. Uh, um, please like, subscribe, comment. Tell me what you think. Do you honestly think this is a good idea? Like Lois dating Batman after after Superman's died. Do, like how do you justify that? How do you even begin to justify that? Like some in. So to set up some injustice bullshit where Superman goes evil? Is this part of the 5, 7, 20 arc uh, 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 Superman story where he finally becomes Superman after, you know, fucking... <laughs> what is going on? When Like, how do Snyder fans do this? And then they talk about, like, oh, you don't understand what an arc is. You don't understand. Like, this is an arc where he's becoming Superman over this... It's like, go fuck yourself, guy. Why can't... How, how is it that Batman becomes Batman in BVS? It's just one movie. Like, by the end of it, he's Batman, even though he's like this killer Punisher Batman. How is it that happens? What the fuck is this? Oh, he has seven movies to become Superman. It's like, I've only got fucking... How long? I'm black. I've got high blood pressure. Do you know what I mean? I try and keep healthy, but I, I, I feel like pain in my fucking heart and lungs, man. How long do I have to wait for this fucking movie where I see actual Superman? I mean, like, I, I, I'm not even upset. I really am not upset. I know I'm, like, shouting and being animated and stuff, but I'm not even upset. I just find this fucking hilarious. This guy is out of control. He wanted... He was going to put it in until... Warner Brothers put the kabush on this fucking dumbass idea. Batman dicks Wonder Woman. Uh, sorry, Batman dicks Lois Lane. That's his idea for a Justice League movie. All right, and if you guys don't believe uh, Zack Snyder is a fucking troll, he is a troll. It's straight up trolling Superman. Anyone who rejects his movies, he trolls them a little bit in the movie. Instead of being an adult, and just saying, look, I made a fucking mistake. Uh, I maybe shouldn't have had, you know, Superman killing people and breaking people's necks. And, you know, maybe he could have been a little bit more cheerful or whatever. I know I was trying to do a thing, but it was just a mistake. Instead of that, in just like a, a genuine admission. I mean, the film's quite good. Man of Steel is quite good outside of the fact that it isn't a Superman movie. Right, like there's there's great action, there's a great score, there's but you know there's there's elements to that movie that are quite nice, you know. Uh, people weren't even that tough on that movie; they were more than willing to give him another chance. But he was like, "You fucking yeah, so you hated when he when I got Superman to kill? All right, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna get him to kill a fucking black guy right in the beginning of the movie, a human." being. So he can't kill a fucking godly alien and twist his neck? What the fuck else was he supposed to do? How else could I have finished my fucking movie without him twisting Zod's neck? All right, I'll tell you what. I'm going to get him to kill a fucking black guy terrorist in the fucking desert. You know, it's like in the first five minutes of the movie, so you're like, oh, shit, so this ain't my Superman. He kills a fucking black guy in the desert in the first five minutes. Dun, 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 Superman of fucking, <laughs> you know what I mean? This is the most hardcore Superman I've ever seen. He's twisting necks. Like, he killed, everyone is like, oh, you know, there's nothing he could have, as if we're watching a documentary in Man of Steel. There's nothing he could have done except twist that guy's neck. That's the only way the movie could have finished. Because it's not written, it's not fiction. It's not like you can change the story or anything like that to make... Uh, an ending that's suitable, suitable for Superman. So 
he has to kill him by fucking snapping his neck, snapping Zod's neck. So explain to me exactly why Superman had to kill the terrorist in the beginning of Batman v Superman. I just want you Snyder fans to explain that one to me. He's trolling Superman fans because he's an unprofessional douchebag. That's basically it. He's an unprofessional douchebag. And that's why he's going, oh, let and I'll show you here. This is Snyder. This is Snyder trolling the fans. So this scene that he's watching in his watch along party is Snyder watching fucking um uh the the Batmobile chase in um in 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 Batman v Superman. So let's hear him trolling his fans. Boom. What was cool about that shot was when we did the first of that car getting hit, it went up on top of that that container or that little uh, construction office and it landed directly on top and it wait for it. It was like this crazy coincidence just stayed up on top of the wait container. for it. And so we were like, oh, that looks crazy. So we had to take it down and do it again, only this time we weakened the container so it would crush it. So wait for it. Or the, the office. But it was um, one of those hilarious coincidences where a giant car just landed. And Snyder, Snyder fans are always fucking applauding this bit, like uh, when they watch this watch parties. I don't know why this I've seen a, this. This is so de depressing. This is an example of the um, Batmobile's armaments and its uh, weapons. I'm sure these guys are fine. See that? They're going to be 100% okay. They're not at all dead. Those guys in the car there, they're 100% fine. We should have done like an A, an a team shot of them, like oh, on the side of the road, like getting up, like, oh, that hurt, but they're fine. Um, See that? Fucking trolling. Yeah. And I love him. The PG 13 of it all. He's a troll. He's so fucking bitter. He's trying to play it off cool. He's so fucking bitter. People hated his movie. I liked his movie. I like Batman v Superman. I've said it over and over again. Yeah, thank you. No, that's new, Stan. Um, <laughs> he is a hack. But yeah, I've said it over and over again. Zack Snyder, he fucking, he tries to troll his fans. and Oh, sorry, he tries to troll uh, DC fans who don't like his vision. That's basically it. Um, <laughs> that's great. No, that's new stand that you're watching. I'm a big fan of you, by the way. Uh, anyway, um, uh, I'm going to leave it here because I don't want this uh, video going on too long, but thank you for joining. Um, and, uh, <laughs> this is so fucking funny to me. I really, I find it hilarious that he goes on like this. Uh, it's unprofessional. It's basically unprofessional. You saw that little troll there, that little smirk. That, oh, yeah, the, those guys died. I didn't even care about Batman killing in, in, in uh, Batman v Superman. I'm not like some other fans. I didn't really care about it. But you can see that little vindictive streak in that little son of a bitch. He fucking gets pleasure that he has all this power over these characters that people love. And when they fucking criticize him for like fucking fucking with their characters, he trolls them a little bit. He's a little vicious douchebag, um, but it's kind of funny at the same time. So I appreciate his douchebaggery. Uh, thanks very much. Please like, subscribe, uh, give me a high five, smash that like button, and uh, comment, comment. That will be very much appreciated. Have a good one.